Hello, fellow artists. Have you ever thought to yourself, my poses are not dynamic, they're stiff? Why does it look like my characters are frozen in time? And most importantly, why am I not subscribed to this channel? I'm just kidding. Most of you pals that watch this advent calendar are subscribed, and that makes yours truly very happy. Now, to get back to the stiff poses, or well, to the dynamic poses, there are a few things you can have your eye out while posing your characters that make it instantly more dynamic. The first thing is to shift the weight a little bit onto one leg, if they are standing on the ground, of course. Also, you can use some Something called contrapasta. It's when the shoulders and hips of a character are angled in opposite directions and it can make or break a pose. You just gotta know how much to angle them. Don't overdo it or it'll look just weird. You should also keep an eye out for straight lines and curves. Straights mean strength and stability and curves mean movement. You should always have a good balance between them. And while we're at balancing things, zooming out to see the whole picture is really useful and can help you balance your overall silhouette. What I mean by that is that you can give your characters a dynamic feeling by making one side simple and the other side much more complicated in terms of silhouette reading. Now last but not least, you can use foreshortening. That's when something is angled towards or away from the viewer and therefore looks much shorter than it actually is. Depending on the perspective, it also gets much larger or smaller. It's kind of a hassle. Therefore, I dedicated the entire lesson of tomorrow to foreshortening. So you'll know what I'm talking about in the next video. Goodbye for now and happy drawing.